What's up, WordPress Warriors? It's Patrick Gallagher. It is Tuesday, the 21st of April. Uh, in this video, I want to talk briefly about a change that we are making to Gridpane, to the platform. We're actually going to talk about Gridpane in this video, um, which uh, some of you are not going to take well, uh, others of you will understand exactly why it is that we're doing this, um, and you'll ultimately uh, get to uh, experience an upside as a result of this change. So if you go to the site, uh, or you go to the application, and you go to start a chat, uh, after you've put in your email address and after you indicate the type of issue, um, you'll notice that we've got an automatic notification going out um, that just says, hey, just so you know, um, right now, um, Here's the details. It's a little bit long. We're currently prioritizing live chat for critical outages, server down, grid pane platform down. If you've got a site or a server down, um, just stay in the chat. Drop the site URL, drop the IP address in there, and we'll be with you in a few minutes. If, um, if your issue is not an outage, please email us at support at gridpane or go to grid, uh, gridpane.zendesk.com, and you can, complete, you can create a ticket there. And then um, if you want to, you can go to gridpain.com slash KB, and you can look at all of our knowledge base articles. So we've had some people that are like, ah, you're getting rid of chat. And um, clearly, no, that's not what we're doing. Um, what we're doing is deprioritizing um, chats, which are not critical. Okay, and the thing is, is that we have hundreds of users all around the world, 24/7. Um, here's Tom responding. It, it'll probably be inappropriate, so I'm just gonna assume. Um, yeah, you just need to take these for testing. Yeah, ignore. Um, so yeah, you can see we still got live bodies here. Okay, we just you know we just did this test. He had no idea that I was gonna be doing this. Um, we still have live bodies. Okay. Um, the thing is, is that we get all kinds of chats every single day where people don't read the knowledge base articles, they don't test things properly, um, they just generally, um, you know, we have some people that don't even log into the panel. They just go, well, something's not right, fix it, okay? Um, we had one the other day where somebody changed their primary site inside the UI, which is a new feature, relatively new feature. They changed the primary site and then they messaged us immediately and they said, my site's down, what's going on? Well, we log into the box, we see the box is running, we see that the status page is up, you know, at their provider at DigitalOcean or whatever. We see that Nginx is running, all the configs look right, um, everything looks right, and then we go to access the site. And sure enough, the site's not running, um, it's not working, but then we trace the DNS and we discover that the person had just, per just bought a domain and had no DNS resolution whatsoever and they changed the, the, the live domain on their server for their live site, and they ended up nuking their own site, okay? Uh, this is obviously one of the more silly ones that we've dealt with recent, uh, recently, and then that person actually blamed us for not having a knowledge base article that said, hey, if you change your primary domain on a live site and that there's no DNS resolved, you will kill your site. Um, he was kind of pissed at us that we didn't have a, uh, a knowledge base article for that, to which we just had to like uh, shake our heads because we would have thought that that would have been obvious. So uh, the point being that we deal with lots and lots and lots of questions which do not actually merit one of our people um, who at times are completely inundated with you know multiple people having real issues like you know an infrastructure provider goes down or they filled their box up and so now my sequel goes down because they've they're running backups in addition to our backups there's real things that take priority and we're trying to actually alleviate some pressure from our people right now um, because everybody's under a lot of pressure with all the things that that are happening out in the world right now we need less stress not more stress and so our objective with this is to actually make it such that if you have a real problem, you're going to get even faster support than we already had. We're averaging something like 90 seconds response time inside of chat. We're averaging less than four hours resolution across all ticket types and very, very high 98, 99% satisfaction um, in support right now. But the only way that we can maintain those things is by deprioritizing stuff that really shouldn't go to chat. Okay. And so if you're seeing this and this is frustrating to you, well, just understand that our people are still here. It's just, it's a lot easier if, if it's a low priority issue, it's not immediately smashed in their face. Okay. And so if you've got a site down, if you've got an outage, if there's an application issue, hit us up. We're, that's what we're there for. 
But if it's a low priority issue, if you have a general question, it, um, maybe check the manual, maybe read the KBs, um, and then just create a ticket. Send us an email at support at gridpain.com or go to gridpain.zendesk.com and you can fill that stuff out. We're going to be taking additional steps, okay, in, in this vein. We're going to be introducing bots to help people get to answers that they're not willing to go and read the knowledge base articles for, okay? We're gonna be doing things to make it so that you can serve yourself faster and that you ultimately get higher quality support. But part of that means you're not always going to be able to just get a live body for something that really doesn't necessitate it, okay? So I hope that that makes sense. I'm uploading another video right now um, that's an oldie but a goodie. Uh, and now, from the sounds of it, I'm going to be going and dealing with a screaming child. So uh, I hope that you're staying safe um, and taking care of yourself. Um, and I hope that your kids are not in the screaming phase uh, as mine, one of mine is. So um, take care. We'll talk to you soon.